Good morning and welcome to another morning devotion. We continue our conversation concerning what we should be about as believers. What should be our priority? We are still called to give worth and value to God. We are still called to eulogize God. And I know we hear a word usually in funerals, but it means to talk good about, to speak well about. And so we supposed to today speak well about God in our living, in our giving, and indeed in our social media activities. In other words, we are called to worship. Worship the Lord God Jehovah. God is a spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So let's continue watching the drama series or the episode found on channel John chapter 4. Jesus and the woman of Samaria, they're the stars in this episode. And Jesus was helping, strategically serving who he is to mankind. And we pick up this series in verses 3 and 4. And it says, He left Judea and went back to Galilee. Now it was necessary for him to go through Samaria, the word of God, to the people of God. Jesus is our kinsman redeemer. His purpose is to seek and to save the lost. He came that we may have life and that we may have it more abundantly. This lady represented someone who is lost, lifeless, dead spiritually. And Jesus strategically went out seeking her so that her worship would be towards him and not our own selfish desires. And we will learn later in this episode that her desires caused her trouble, trials, and difficulty. And I say to you today, if what you were doing is causing pain and havoc in your life, you need to change your partner. You need to change your involvement. And Jesus, is here today for that purpose. Today he is passing. Jesus is passing today in your area. He is passing so that he can engage with you. He can involve himself with you so that you can be refocused, so that your life can be changed. And God will get glory out of your lifestyle. But if you don't engage him, he will continue going, seeking the loss. But be reminded that he's only a prayer away. And so our priority today is to worship, is to honor God so that he may change us for his glory and for his honor. Would you allow him to do that today? We'll continue in this episode tomorrow, Lifespan. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love and mercy towards us. What an awesome God. While we were yet in sin, you died for us. You made provision so that we may have life and have it more abundantly. And so I pray as you seek us today as you pass by us with your presence and your word I pray that we will engage with you as believers we will allow you to change us some things about us 
that you don't like, that you want us to rid of. And so I pray today that we may shake off heavy bands, so that we may lift up holy hands and praise the name of the living God. So we present us to you today and we say, Lord, have your way and do like only you can do, a blessing that comes from God only and no one can change it so that we may impact our communities, our surroundings for the glory of God. We yield those who lead the nations today. We are called to pray for leaders and those in authority. So we pray for our prime minister and his cabinet. Indeed, we pray for parliament, their families. We ask your blessing. We ask your mercy. We pray that they too will seek after you and allow you to change their situation for your glory. We commend the medical professionals. We commend law enforcement. We commend those who lead in education, including our parents, the strategic partner. We pray a blessing. We thank you for the business community who will seek to make it better, even though it's difficult in this season and time. We bless you for the body of Christ, your spokesman, your light and salt to the earth. And we may indeed be effective even today. Thank you for the peace of Jerusalem. Thank you for families everywhere. We live for our young people, those who are suffering in cancer and other disease. Yes, COVID-19, we lift them up to you. We pray that you solve their issue as we trust and depend upon you. Thank you now as we call on you. In Jesus' name and for our sake. Amen. God bless you today as we seek after God so that he may change our situation. Continue reading John 4. We'll get back by the grace of God. Have a great day in the Lord.